Hey, many fish. It's the 12th of April, 2018. Yeah, I'm finally able to get back here and show you what I saw with this whole thing that they came out with here. Out of nowhere. About the queen. No big deal. Just a queen thing, right? But they had to mention the Invictus games. They just had to. They had to mention that video that they did. The boom video that everybody and their brother, you know, has has looked at. And rightfully so. I mean, there's just so much in this thing. It's ridiculous, right? The 239, 223 runners. That's just a mocking. Skull and bones, backwards, it's just mocking, more or less. The 239 is what caught my eye, first and foremost, because... <laughs> Yeah, this is how it works. If you take that 239, now this was officially released um, on the 29th of April, 2016. However, his phone says the 27th of April, 2016. So, you know, I kind of, I go in between, but we got to take a look at this 239, because if you take that date, the 28th, between the 27th and 29th of 2016, and you take off 23 months and 9 days, you wind up the 6th and the 7th, the same exact time. Now, mind you, this is 1 year, 11 months, and 9 days. I mean, that's, that's pretty wacky, and that's why I wanted to show that to you. It wound up smack diddly dab, same time as the Trump fire, same time as the holy fire, and now the same time as the world on fire, right? So all these things happened in this little bitty time frame. This is all today right here. They're going to they're gonna bomb this and do that. Now I know we've all heard this stuff before, and nobody really knows. But, I mean, if we go back to these Invictus games, right? You know, first of all, just, I, I need to make sure that you absorb that. Two, two, three, nine. Twenty-three months. Twenty-three. Nine days. One year, eleven months, nine days. Lands us on the day of fire, right? And here we are, just about a week later. So, what does that mean? I really couldn't tell you guys. I, I really couldn't. But there's a reason. There always is. And I just need to share this stuff with you. This is the primary point. Because, you know, when it comes into my spirit, you know, it's just kind of put on me. And that's all I can do. And, uh, you know, as always, I go to prayer. And I ask for some level of confirmation when I see these things. Are they meaningful or are they just rabbit trails you know so today what verse came up was genesis 18 3 through 8 which is weird because i don't see a lot of genesis on here but you know right off the bat it's a 9 11 okay and it talks about abraham and uh you know the god coming in the form of the angels and um telling abraham and sarah she'll conceive and she laughs at him but where it ends is right before they're going to Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy it by fire and brimstone. Okay? Abraham talks them down to ten. If you can find just ten righteous men, will you spare it? Yep, we will, but they don't find them. Not at all. So that's that. And so... You know, where does that leave us, uh, you know, time frame? Well, like I say, this landed us right on these very critical days here that just totally make my spirit buzz when I, when I think about the chances of that happening between the boom video, the infamous boom video that's just loaded to the hilt with, uh, symbolism and, 223, 69, 18 and 15, 33, Flotus, take the F off, Lotus message. You know what I'm saying? It's just loaded. You know something? Check this out. Watch this. This is just crazy stuff that I do when I'm looking at this stuff. I took the 1815, the 33, and turned it around to 5181. 
and multiplied them. This is what you get. 51 times 81, 41, 31, right? 4, 13. 1, 3, 1. I'm just saying. These are the things I see, so I just share them with you guys. But that one, this one here is very, very, very telling to me that at least in the dark realm, they are so close to everything coming to the surface and it just exploding into the world in all manner of ways, you know? But eventually, fire, people. That's what's coming to this world, fire. There is no doubt about it. And you need to be prepared. You need to know Jesus. You know? Pray that you are worthy to escape these things that are coming upon the earth. Because they are. And they just mock you all the way to the slaughterhouse. This is what, what the world will do to you. You need Jesus. You need the truth. And the scripture is the only way you're going to get it through the Holy Spirit. End of discussion. And we could go deeper with this, but I thought that, that that alone to me just was like, come on now. What exactly does that mean? And that puts us about a week out, okay? The 13th and the 14th, to me, big giant red flags all over them. But the Lord's working. He's working harder than that devil, and so you need to be on his side and uh, let him take the reins, so to speak. So I thought I had to had to share that with you guys. I'll catch up with you later. Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 